Hello, I'm Andy Rash, the technical trainer for DMAG Cranes and Components. Today I want to talk to you about error 21 or error 121 that shows up in a controller on an Adapsy system. We have our pendant and we're going to try to run our bridge and we're going to generate the error 121. The one in front of the 21 means the problem's happening at the bridge and it's related directly to the inverter control not being ready and not giving a ready signal to the adapsy control. If it's on a trolley or a hoist, the one will not precede the 21. In old systems, it manifests as an error 21. In newer firmware levels, the error code shows as a warning 63 or for the bridge a triangle warning 163. So if we see error 21 or 121 one of the first things to check is on the face of the VFD we look for the LED flashing. The green flashing LED means the VFD is not experiencing an internal fault so if we see the green flashing LED, but yet we're getting error 121 in this case on the bridge panel, we have to suspect the interconnecting wiring between the control board and the VFD has an issue, and we should check it. If we see a solid red LED, that means there's an internal fault in the inverter, and we should use our keypad, KP500, to look for that error code. And if there's no LED flashing and no LED lit at all, we should suspect if three-phase power is present at the input to the inverter, something's burned out internally and you'll be purchasing a new inverter to replace it. So once we've established that a red LED is present on the face of the inverter, we can plug in with our KP500. We have another video in our series that talks about how to connect to the various models of VFD. In this case, I'm using the base plate and putting the KP500 in the base plate so that I can maintain a safe clearance distance from the panel and still be plugged in and look at the screen. An inverter that is experiencing a fault, when the KP500 is plugged in, it will display the fault in the LCD screen. A KP500 keypad was provided with every DMAG complete crane order when the DR Pro was being sold. If the complete crane wasn't provided, the tool is not present, but if it was a complete crane, the KP500 should be present in the bridge panel or in a brown box tucked in the corner of the bridge panel. Many times they've been removed from the brown box and they're in the face of the bridge VFD. They can be removed and transferred over to the trolley or hoist VFD. So please remember, first check your LED flashes, then check error codes on the KP500. Hopefully this will help you diagnose what's going wrong when there's a fault in your VFD.